Yeah, here we are along the banks of the Potomac to show you what's going on with the new nice bridge, the 301 bridge. Take a look. On this side of the river, we've got Charles County, Maryland. On the other side, King George County in Virginia. And what's going on here is you can see the new span on the right that has been constructed here, a ribbon cut on it this morning. On the left, that's the old span. And the state says, well, that needs to come down. There are environmental groups who want to save the older span on the left. And now we've got controversy. Three, two. And with that, Maryland Governor Larry Hogan and others officially opening the new bridge well ahead of schedule. There were even jokes. By the way, it's now called the, the Governor Nice Senator Middleton Bridge. And I actually thought they were naming it after me because I thought I was Governor Nice. <laughs> but then I found out there was a different guy. Yes, the original Governor Nice served Maryland during the 1930s. Well, this new span is wider, two lanes in each direction instead of one, but bike and pedestrian lanes that were promised were stripped away as part of a cost-cutting measure. If a cyclist wants to cross the new bridge, they'll have to do that in one of the traffic lanes. There's no space for pedestrians, and some say that's a lost opportunity. And that's very sad because we could have had a, a, a new generation bridge. We now have a new bridge which is opening. It will have trucks and cars competing with cyclists on a bridge going 50 where 55 mile an hour speeds can take place. Cycling and environmental groups filed a lawsuit to try to keep the old span and use that for bicycles and pedestrians. A judge denied that request. Maryland leaders say the old span is in such bad shape that any future use would be dangerous. It's now scheduled to be demolished starting this week while traffic shifts to the new bridge this week as well. At the Nice Bridge, Adam Tuss, News 4.